today I'm going to tell you my top 10 people that are going to have a big year in 2020. Number one is, I mean, number 10 would be David Pingo Jr. I think he had a cracker of a game last week against the Bulldogs. Yeah, and I just reckon with no Fafita, he's going to be the go-to man. Uh, number number nine. Um, I'm going to choose. Um, I'm going to choose Cameron Munster. He's a great player. He uses the ball, goes himself, backs himself a lot. Um, most halfbacks and five eights don't do that. They just don't back themselves to pass. Which is why I think he he's gonna have a big future in 2020. Number eight, I'm going to say J- Jimmy Tedesco, Daily M medalist last year, won State of Origin for his club, the Blues. So I reckon obviously he's gonna have a great year, and he won't he won't be. He won't be a bad player. Like 2018, for instance, he got two sin bins in the same game in in the grand final. Number seven. Um, number seven is Cody He's a very talented player. He backs himself a lot. Has has courage to has courage to help others out. Do, doesn't yeah. doesn't doesn't panic. He he likes to he likes to kick. And yeah. Number six. Number six. Um. Number six. I'm going to have to say. I'm gonna have to say um this genius. Kyle Flanagan, one of the one of the best goal kickers I've seen. He kicked like eight eight goals last week for his club in um in um in from the sideline. So and I thought that that takes real guts to kick it from the sideline. Thirty me- thirty meters out from the goal and 20, 20 meters out from the goalpost. So yeah. So yeah, I think Kyle Flanagan, big future twenty twenty. Number five. Number five. Hmm. I'm gonna have to say. Clint Gufferson. Last week he wasn't great, but he set up this very good try. Tapped, tapped, and caught the Knights defenders napping. Then there was only the fullback to beat. The winger was there, Mike Sivo. So double pump, which brings Kalen Bonga up, which, which which gets him interested in thinking that Gufferson's not going to pass. So that's why I'm going to say Clint Gufferson, yeah. Mitch Moses um, is number four. He's, he's injured at the moment, but he is a very talented player. Backs himself, he's a goal kicker, field goaler, and likes to score some tries. Number three. Um, number three, Ruben Garrick. Last year, 16 tries and had a blinder in goal kick. So, yeah, Ruben Garrick, big future. Next one, the rest of them are from Manly. Manly. Tom Drohovic, in hamstring injury at the moment. He'll be back in a few, few weeks, hopefully. In two, we're really struggling, Manly. 
If you didn't know, I'm a Manly fan. Well, guess what? I am. So, um, yeah. Not coming, going great. Got smashed by the dragons. But you've got to give it to them. Zach Lomax, too good of a player for any, any of the Manly players. My number one. D C E. He got. He got, he got second best halfback last year. Yeah. So I'm going to say he kicked a couple of field goals. Got five forty twenties, the most in, the most in, in, in um, in the year. And he didn't score much tries, but I'd like to see him pass. It. That too. Yeah. Those are my top, top two favourite NRL players. And I think 